Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I have the unboxing, monitor review, and a showcase of the Sphere Lighting 2.0 LED system on the LG 27GP950B with its amazing LG Nano IPS 1 millisecond grade of gray 144Hz with Visa DSC technology overclocked to 160Hz monitor, UHD 4K and VRR up to 120Hz with the HDMI 2.1 ports, of course with the NVIDIA G-Sync compatibility with AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, and we have the amazing 98% of the DCI-P3 color coverage with Visa Display HDR600 and a four-side virtually borderless display that looks amazing at any angle. Today we'll be taking a look at how well LG packed this monitor, all the response times, and a slowed down real-time version so you can see all the presets in real time so you can see how they affect the image. We'll be taking a look at the Sphere 2.0 lighting video sync mode with a trailer of Call of Duty Vanguard, a quick rundown of the new menu system that the LG 27GP950 has for this year as the GN version had a different monitor menu. And we'll be taking a look at next generation gaming on this amazing LG Nano IPS technology panel and the kind of contrast the LG IPS panel would provide in a real world setting. And we'll be taking a look at the LG Sphere 2.0 system and I'll be going in depth at the end of the video if you needed a more detailed look on the system and how it works and side view videos, trailers and games so you can see how well and beautiful it looks from the side. Here is the ultimate review of the LG 27GP950B. Let's get into it. As you can see, it has a beautiful design on the front, and I hope many monitors continue this trend as that's what gamers want. We don't want no brown cutoff cardboard like the M28U. And here showing how it was packed, everything was packed nicely. There was sufficient padding all around the monitor. As you can see right here, the top is the LG 27GP950, while the bottom was the Gigabyte M28U padding. So there is a humongous difference in the amount of padding to protect your monitor. So easily, right there, a win for the LG. We had a nice protective foam layer all around the monitor to protect the screen and the back of the monitor. Here you can see the Ultra Gear logo and the bottom of the monitor stand as you can see nice shiny red and black. This is the feet of the monitor where you would connect it to the spine that connects to the actual monitor itself. Showing you here all the pictures so you can see how it looks. Everything was high quality. Here's a cable management little hook in the back of the monitor. Also showing here the front of the monitor foam padding so you can see there was a double foam to give it an extra cushion on the actual display. My monitor arrived in perfect condition. No issues whatsoever, no scratches, no blemishes, no missing pieces. Everything came in perfect order. And here are all the connections in the LG box, which we will get to in a bit. And right here we have a way to register the LG monitor, the actual CD with the owner's manual, and measurement results of the gamma, color temperature, and color difference, all included in the box. And here for the cables, we have a power cord with a special adapter for it, a display port, a USB hub cable, and an ultra high speed HDMI cable. The really cool thing you can do, you can scan that ultra high speed cable right there with your phone it'll take you to the actual certified hdmi certification website and it will tell you if it's actually certified or a knockoff or fake cable that's a really cool feature i haven't seen that in any monitor so far so this is the first that i've been able to see and that's really cool you can download that app to your mobile phone and here we have the lg manual showing you how to connect the spine of the monitor and what not to do it really makes it foolproof no issues no fuss and you can always download the manual at the LG website in case you lose it. Here showing the back of the monitor so you can see it is the LG 27GP950B. And also what I've noticed was that this panel was recently made in July 2021, just a few months ago. So this is fresh off the factory. That's really cool to see. And here we have the USB hub connection, an HDMI 2.1 in port 1 and 2, 
a display port in, two USB ports, a headphone port, and the actual connection for that adapter of the power cord. Here's the back of the monitor where you wall mount your monitor to a VESA wall mount and you can see where you would connect the back of the monitor spine to the actual monitor to hold it in place and that little button down there to release it in case you want to wall mount it. Here is the bottom of the monitor, we have the joystick nub, and we have the scrolling wheel to actually control the LG Sphere Lighting 2.0 if you want to lower or higher the brightness and change the four presets that are on the monitor itself. But just to note, for video sync mode, you do need it connected to the computer as it is a software-based system, but I'll get into that in a little bit later in the video. So this is where the monitor spine is connected to the actual monitor. That little switch down there, that little button down there is to release it if you change your mind and you want to wall mount it better. And showing here, you can pick up the monitor up and down. You can twist it to its side if you prefer to see it that way. This is how the monitor looks in the front and from the back clean cut, beautiful, very minimal bezels. And also from the back, how it would look with the LG Sphere colors. Everything is clean, clear, and cut. There is no bad design choices with the actual monitor itself. No distractions as you want your eyes on the monitor always. And it's a beautiful monitor. And this is where things get interesting. As you can see here, this is the back of the LED Sphere are housed. And in the GP version, you can see how it looks like a shiny foil system. And this is new for the GP version. As with the GN version, it was a clear diffused plastic. You can see here with the side by side, I do have it here showing you the GN versus the GP. The GP does look shiny. It looks like some kind of foil system that they've used this time. And here is how it looks lit up on both of them. Now I do have both monitors and we will be getting to a versus video very soon, but as far as I can tell, there is no major difference other than the LEDs don't look as pronounced as the GN version. You can easily see it here on this picture. On the GN, you can see them individually easily, while on the GP, they're more blended in together. Maybe because the foil is dispersing the light even more, which in turn would technically give us a brighter backlight. But we will get to all of those videos in the future, as I love the LG Sphere 2.0 lighting system. It's my number one feature for me that I use tremendously with all my games. I always have it on video sync mode, and I'll be able to show you that in the future, as that is an amazing feature to have. And no monitor that I can find so far can match the quality and beauty with the LG Sphere 2.0 lighting system. Now here we have the response time with off, normal, fast, and faster. As you can see, faster is ridiculous. It's unplayable, it's unviewable, it's unwatchable, it's disgusting, and I'm being honest with you. Fast looks good, normal looks better, and off looks great. I mean, they all look great, except faster, it's just bad. What I do is I leave it on normal, because if you really look closely, I know the images are not clear enough maybe, but if you really look closely, you can see normal is faster than fast. Fast does provide a little bit of a trail that I've been able to see. Call it ghosting, call it whatever. I do prefer normal, but we will get to more video tests in the future. And here we're gonna have all the response times so you can see. I did slow down the video so you can better see how, look how drastic the faster to fast was. It was really bad. It's faster, it's just unplayable. Fast looks nice, normal looks better to my eyes. And off just looks the same as normal to me. And this is just me looking at the Blur Busters UFO test. And here showing a little bit of the LG Sphere 2.0 video sync mode in the back of how it looks with that foil you can easily see. So if you buy this monitor in the future, or if you buy the GN version, that is one way to tell if you do have a GP. Look for the foil in the back because the GN does not have it and you don't want to get tricked into buying. As many I'm sure will try to sell the GN version because they want that HDMI 2.1 with the 4K 120Hz through HDMI exclusively on the GP. Here we'll be taking a look at the monitor menu. As you can see, it is completely changed from last year. Looks more gamer-ish if that makes any sense, but here we'll be going look at the game modes. I usually have it on Gamer 1. sRGB is beautiful and that's how I edit all my videos. sRGB on this monitor is amazing. And if you are a content creator, you will want that feature. It works perfectly beautiful on the LG 27GP950. Even better than the Gigabyte M28U, in my opinion, as I've used both and I prefer the LG. Here we have an overclock. I just kept it on the 144Hz instead of the 160. Here we have adaptive sync, black stabilizer, the response time, the crosshairs, the FPS counter, and you can reset your image if you choose to. And here with the picture adjust, here local dimming, the EFC, picture reset, the brightness, the contrast, the sharpness, of course the gamma, color temperature, the red, green, and blue, 
six color and black level, the input list, the aspect ratio, and here with the headphone in the back port, the Waves Max audio, the language, the user defined keys, keep smart energy saving on off so you can get maximum brightness, the lighting option, the power LED, display port version, automatic standby, the buzzer and the OSD clock. And here with the information, I only have 14 hours with the monitor and it's been a beautiful 14 hours as of yet. So here let's kick into some gameplay of next generation Forza Horizon 5 in Mexico. This game looks beautiful. It looks amazing. You can see I will be saying amazing a lot in this video because that's what you get with an LG Nano IPS technology panel. It's beautiful. And it's 4K 60 hertz, of course, right here, but it can hit 4K 120 hertz on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. And it has full screen SDR brightness power. Again, here showing a couple of games, just wanted to give you my opinion so far. Everything looks beautiful on this monitor. I have no complaints whatsoever. Of course, you always have to deal with the panel lottery. So this monitor or in any other monitor, you wanna make sure that you have very little backlight bleed or IPS glow, things you can't you know, run away from. Thankfully, this monitor doesn't have any defects in, of the such, no dead pixels, no nothing. So just be aware of that. Any monitor you buy, you do have to run with the panel lottery, especially with TVs also. So when you buy anything, make sure you're satisfied with the panel quality before you actually get into the actual monitor's features because you're gonna look at this thing for a long time and you wanna make sure it's easy on the eyes and nothing too distracting. But Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, everything looks beautiful. Of course, this is gameplay of the new Forza Horizon 5, which comes out later in the year. It looks beautiful, and I can't wait to pick up that game. Here is some PlayStation 5 gameplay. Sackboy. Everything looking crystal clear, super colorful, and that's what you get with the LG Nano IPS technology, the colors. From a front and especially from the side viewing angle, it retains all the information. You just saw Forza from the side, and I have no complaints. And remember, you can always dial down the settings. I have it on Gamer 1 with 100% brightness, 80% contrast. My colors, I keep it up there. I love my saturation. That's the whole point of why I get an LG Nano technology panel because I love the saturation. I love their sRGB mode. You don't understand as a content creator or if you just wanna edit or have a beautiful neutral looking image without too much saturation, LG Nano IPS panels have a really beautiful sRGB mode. So that's something to take note. That's why you're paying this much for this kind of panel. It does everything really, really well. That's a feature many might not need, but it is awesome to have. Here, taking a look with actual black levels on an IPS screen, as you can see, I do have local dimming on normal. So on certain scenes, only the really right and left side of the screen get really dark while everything is lit up. Now, this is a technical limitation to IPS technologies. As we all know, VA panels destroy IPS panels in contrast. And that's nothing bad, it's just that's the way the panel is, that's just the way the technology is. I do have the Samsung Odyssey G7, which I love, which I believe is the contrast king. But here I'm just showing you how still nice and beautiful it looks. The more ambient light you have, the better contrast your LG or any IPS panel monitor would look. But again, just showing here how a real world scene, especially in a very dark game like Resident Evil 8, would look. Here showing video sync mode, as that is my favorite feature of this monitor. Many might not care for it, but I really find this as a must. Here audio sync with the fireworks, as it just rotates the colors with the sound. Here with dynamic mode, with it's just a color wheel circling, as you can see, it does give a nice illumination with, of the monitor to brighten up your room. And peaceful mode, where it slowly transitions colors in a very, very slow way, very relaxing way, I'd say. And of course, static mode, you can pick any color you want. White is the more neutral-ish and it makes everything look super contrasty. The black levels are elevated here on the monitor with a static color. And here, let's look at some more Call of Duty Vanguard LG Lighting Sphere 2.0, just to give you an idea of how the video sync mode works. On certain scenes, it's brighter. Of course, the darker the image is, it won't pick up as much color and brightness. Look how beautiful with the planes, especially with the explosions. It just makes your gaming and your movies and anything you do on the screen come to life with much more immersion than the 27 actually looks. It makes it look bigger because of that light in the back. But remember, you can always disable it if you don't like it. But I think this is a very important feature with the Sphere Lighting 2.0 and it does make a difference versus the competition 
as I believe no other monitor manufacturer right now has a system like this, especially with the video sync mode. Now everything with the video sync mode does have to work through the PC, it does not do it through Xbox or PlayStation on the monitor on the fly. You have to have it connected to the PC. So if you wanted video sync mode, it's a PC software thing right now. And if you are having trouble finding the LG Control Center download, I'll have a link in the description of the version I use. As just in case sometimes you can't find it depending on the region of where you live, you can download the link as that's the one I use and it works. And now I'm going to show you some HDR footage of course in this SDR video just to show a little bit of how it looks. Now since this is an IPS panel, black levels will not reach VA contrast power or OLED. This is an expensive monitor and the only downside is you have to expect what comes with IPS technology. Even the LG Nano IPS, while it can display beautiful colors with its rich saturation, cannot achieve local dimming power of mini LED or OLED. And while HDR600 sounds nice on paper, and since the local dimming zones are not aggressive enough, the contrast blends into the amazing image, which makes it a not so nice HDR picture. Don't get me wrong, you can see in this video there are some scenes that the LG IPS technology really shines through. You can see every single detail, every single color difference. So this monitor really fluctuates with sometimes outstanding images, even better than the Samsung Neo QLED LED TV that I have, while other times it's not so great and it's one of the dullish looking pictures, again because of IPS technology and its limits. Here showing you all the presets of the LG Sphere Lighting 2.0. Everything is beautiful on this monitor. You cannot go wrong with the LG 27GP950B. It is amazing for the 4K 120Hz with two HDMI 2.1 ports and PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X gaming will look amazing on this monitor and of course on your PC. Editing with the sRGB mode will make your life a lot easier so you can get accurate colors and also with the full screen brightness. Now this is an HDR 600 monitor. 600 by meaning of HDR, the peak highlights could hit above 600 nits. While in SDR mode, it hovers around 400 to 420 nits, something the Gigabyte M28 you can't even achieve. But you are paying more money for the LG Nano IPS technology, the LG Sphere 2.0 lighting system. But we will get to more versus videos in the future to help you make an awesome buying decision. And here we'll be taking a look at the LG Ultra Gear Control Center for the Sphere Lighting 2.0 system. As you can see, applying with the video sync mode, everything looks beautiful. It looks amazing. Just showing you on how, when you download it to your computer, how it's gonna look and all the things you can do with different variety of color and screen, just so you can see how the backlight displays what's on screen to the back of your monitor. It's truly immersive and it's awesome to have. Here you can see how it works and how beautiful the actual monitor is from the side, from the back and from the front. It looks beautiful. Everything is amazing on the LG 27 GP 950. With the sound sync, I don't really like it. Again, I prefer video sync mode or static, but that's just me. It does pick up bass really well. For example, let's just say a heartbeat as you can see right here on screen. But if you put anything else, any kind of genre of music, it just, it's a mess. It just flashes. There is no really sync, not in my opinion. But if you get this monitor, you can try different kinds of music, so maybe different, something with more bass would do something like this. But it's kind of distracting as each song, each genre of music you play would change the flashing. So it'll just depend on the music that you have. And here with dynamic mode, and that is just a wheel that turns. Here with peaceful mode again, just transferring from different colors, one after another, in a slow mode, in a slow way, so nothing's too distracting. And also here with static mode, you can pick what colors you want, and you can change the actual colors of the actual presets to your liking. But video sync mode is my favorite mode. But also to note, you should have a white background or a lighter background, if you want to say. As you can see, my background, I have this 3D polygon kind of a background. I have this background because I wanted that white, brighter illuminated LED backlight of the monitor to showcase. The darker you have it, the less pronounced the light would be. So just to note, if you do get this, and if you have a darker background, or if you have it in a corner away from the wall, the LED sphere won't be as pronounced. But rounding up this video, everything is beautiful. Here I'm gonna showcase many colors, many pictures, so you can get a real sense of what the LG IPS technology can provide you. There is a lot of saturation on this monitor. It is bright enough, that's the thing. You're paying for brightness power, 
in SDR mode and HDR mode, of course with the limitations of the IPS panel in HDR mode. The amazing saturation you get with this kind of panel and the amazing wide viewing angles you get with this IPS high quality LG Nano technology panel. Contrast looks amazing if you do have ambient lighting, but that would work on any TV or any monitor. The more ambient lighting you have, the better the image would look. Of course, OLEDs and mini LEDs and VA panels would look better in dark rooms. But you cannot deny the beauty of the colors of this LG Nano IPS technology. This display, in my opinion, is the one to save up for when you want the best of the best in IPS technology for the mainstream market on the market today. Look how beautiful the colors are. You cannot go wrong with this amazing panel. And this LG 27 GP950 is the one to save up for because this is the monitor and IPS technology that many manufacturers hope to one day beat or achieve the kind of quality they can provide. So friends, thank you for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on a future LG 27 GP 950B video. Don't forget to check out the playlist so you can see other games and applications to help you make an amazing buying decision. I'll see you guys next time.